Yo guys. Gonna try a quick gold guide. Never done this before. Pretty cringe. Probably seen so lime. You shouldn't really need more. Now he's going play to win boy, so I uh, most don't wanna pay for gold, I guess. Same as me. So I'll just go choose some professions, one by one. I have most of them. Tell you what I feel, what you should, you know, get, what you shouldn't get. Start with jewel crafting. Of course, make this every day. The materials are always cheaper. You can just sell the raw games if you want. Uh, you can get some of the games, but I really suggest the, the, the best thing with um, jewel crafting is... Uh, just the epics. You invest, uh, I guess, four of these uh, jewel tokens, and you'll get, uh, you know, pretty high profit on all of them. You know, it's pretty hard to sell games. Everyone's competing. High investment. You you can find a few, you know, recipes out in the world, but the whole shuffle thing is a waste of time. Just don't do it. If you want to do it, you do it with a bot, or like auto click shit. I don't know. If you if you're into that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to get banned for nothing. Obviously these fuckers here. This one says like a pretty penny. Make these ones as well. You know, you could shuffle like I do. Uh, you know, just for making these beautiful rings there. They sell so... It's almost a profit as... For, uh, same profit as these. Sells all the time. But also you have to invest a few of these. But it's better than investing, like I did here, like every fucking game. And you, and you cut them, you and it's worth less than just the raw ones. Ah, wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend. So, basically epics. And if you're a big boy, you know, uh, this and this server, you can prospect adamantite ores, for instance. You know, into powder. You know, you see, you can't lose money. <laughs> You know, the, the prospecting value is way above the ore, so things like that, if you want, you know. But I suggest just taking those uh, epic uh, epics, that's the best one. And of course, uh, be prepared for Tok Patch, TOC, Trial of Crusader, that's when you can go and uh, prospect titanium ores. Buy up for that shit. Engineering, not that good, but you know, these ones here. They sell a lot. Also a lot of other things you can sell. The same uh, that goes for every profession. You can sell uh, sub-materials. Like uh, those uh, crystals. And what are they called? Arcanite. Like you can convert these. These cost 5 gold and you sell these for 100. So that's a crazy profit. Also making these. Uh, you know. Very good uh, profit margins, but they don't sell that often. It's not. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go and make a guide about them. <laughs> uh, let's say uh, alchemy transmission master. Very good. Basically, taking uh, serenite bars, making titanium out of them. But uh, I guess the hidden one is. The mites, because basically everyone, you don't want to do botanica and dungeons anymore, so everyone just buys four of these, and then they re-roll their alchemy profession. So, making these always fucking money. Money, money, money. I'm, I always buy a lot of them. Oh, the sound disappeared, fuck you. Else it's gonna be super cringe, you know? Ah, oh, fuck this, I won't buy now. You get the point. Titanium. Because uh, these fuckers, you know, your jewel crafting are using them. Titanium. And then, uh, if you want, you make it into Titan Steel. And that is for the blacksmith. Which is this guy. With him you make uh, belt buckles. Everyone needs a belt buckle, just remember that. 
And uh, same with the, the Temper, right? and like all of the Titans deal epics, right, really. Uh, you can earn, you know, great profit on them. The old Ares Uldor epics, be careful, and like you need to invest uh, a lot of gold in the in the recipe. So I wouldn't do that. I did it though, because <laughs> I have too much gold, but the people are just cutting it down. It depends on your server. And like I would just start the Uldor, you know, be a red leader, start Uldor, Uldor pugs. And reserve the recipes. That's how you make make epics, and then uh, never never forget the ice, like the resistance gear on everything. Like this is your candy, this is your bread and butter. Uh, on every profession, these sell uh, everyone. Everyone needs at least two uh, when they're going next. Everyone. So yeah, make these. Not much more for blacksmithing, tailoring. Remember to go, you know, e either off the spell wave from from TBC, right? Pick one of them. I was told like, no, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. <laughs> so like, uh, if you're a nerd like me, you pick all three on one. Uh, you know, if you want, you can respect them one at a time on just the same. So you make a hunt, a thousand of these, <laughs> a thousand of these, you know, uh, cash out. It's pure profit on all of them. I always just sell them. One costs 74. You say it costs two. That's what people think, but it really costs one because you're getting two, two proc. So one costs 47. This is a very bad price, you see. But it's profit margins on every one of them. Sell them all the time. Sell these. Sell bags. Everyone needs bags. It, this is AFK money. So. Tailoring is a lot of AFK money. And I'm gonna forget things. Just so you know. But uh, again, you make this once a day. Hoodir, Glacials, and Leg Enchants. Basically. Monitor the price. Always worth it. Fuck, that guy is crashed. Doesn't matter. Beside these guys, I guess the next is gonna be. Like, um, these are, this is the alchemy master. It's tailoring as well, but uh, elixir master, you don't... I have come to the conclusion you don't need, uh, you don't need them. Because, uh, like, uh, the materials are almost always under them, the price. You know, even you calculate the profits, uh, like if I'm elixir master, which is flasks. Now you like it's about 15% proc chance to 20, but we calculate 15 to be safe. So let's say it costs me 90 gold materials. That's what you, you times that with 0 0.85, and then you'll get the the number. I can't. I should have done it here because I have no brain. I always use calculator. Do it here for you. We paid 90 the materials 90, and here we get the actual price. Do I have Down Syndrome? I do. 90 times 0 0.85. Sorry guys for Down Syndrome. This is the actual price. But that's the point is you just, uh, you know, when the raid, when people raid, you basically go to the auction house like I do every week. You buy everything. You buy all the potions. And you buy, <laughs> I also buy all the materials just to dry out the market, but I've come to the conclusion again, and I've seen the results. You don't need to, it dries up uh, on its own. So you just reset all the prices, and with that you will have, if you made your own flasks and bought all the flasks, you would have too much, like I often have. So you, you can make your own, but I would suggest just before every raid, uh, like the normal raid time is 19. Uh, and that's when, you know, at 18.30, you buy everything, every flask, every potion, it's going to cost you, it costs me 200,000 gold, but you earn uh, about, uh, three, you earn 100,000 at least in profits, so nothing going to beat this in uh, profit margins. Uh, I forgot to say on the Elixir Master, you make these meta games, of course, and you send it to a jewel crafter, but, you know, uh, you would need all of them. <laughs> like you need to get these small games to make it. But they, oh, it's often profit just making these. Remember that. But yeah, about the flask. You buy every like every speed potion. 
buy those fuckers up. Have everything before the raid. And it's going to be hard to... It's hard to not make profit out of it. Uh, but this is very late game. This is when you are have, like me way too much gold. You're just uh, ha having fun with it. But having fun with gold is when you get to way too much. And that includes like resetting prices. I would suggest if you're going to nerd out, if you're, you're doing it to earn like real life money, uh, you know, I would go for several accounts and send all to one banker that is only posting. I guess I can go through the uh, like, because TSM is not allowed. I'm a TSM boy. You need, I'm using a pricer. You need to batch post. That's just how it is. I guess I'll go and find a batch poster. Because uh, people are you going by 101, uh, it's going to take you too long time. So you basically want to, like, I guess you can first configure. Uh, just want to make sure that uh, that you undercut. The undercut is set to one copper, that's the most important. And here, how much you want to follow. You want to follow up the 100% over market. Sucks that it doesn't go more. But here, you, how low do you want to go? <laughs> uh, I say 85%, I don't give a shit. But it's set like here, you don't want to go, you know, you're like, I'm going here. I don't give a shit about the how, if people want to go down, I'm going down. Uh, and basically you go, each of the one you want to take, it's like, it's like, uh, this is the normal. You go like here, and you set here how many you want to take it. If you have a specific, uh, you should maybe go through the, the pricer settings, like here. Put it to 12 hours, right there, one, one, if that's what you prefer. Five, if you like him to do like this. That's what I like actually on this, in this character. And make sure it's just go, boom, boom, boom. And then you add, add all of these that you want on this one here. At the end. Just press this. Uh, Alt. So now it searches one by one. Of those I pressed on. Ding, 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 ding. That one. Searching through. I I need to add some music to this. I need to make a new... Uh, I figure I have to make a new video of the all. Of the all. <laughs> nah. I don't give a shit. It's no one is going to view it. That's going to be the good part. Because then uh, the money is going to stay tight. Good health, long life. There's the big money. If you have time for it. Inscription. Invest into the glyphs. Book, book glyphs. Making minors, making majors. Yeah, you don't have to. The big money is the the cards, Dark Moon cards, which you get, you know, shuffling all the ores. Make sure to get a ton of life cheap, you know. It's going to get cheap early and then expensive. So just get a lot of them. Because you're going to need a lot of them. Making these. Uh, right after Dark Moon Fair, you make... Uh, you waste the shit on, uh, on offense. Or faces of doom and this one making those but uh when it like uh, normally just burning it all into the sexy uh, decks but i have plans of going uh, pretty hard into glyphing because it's um you earn so much money uh, out of the amount of gold you put in but it requires you to nerd out on the on the undercutting of glyphs uh, but you can do an alternative way, and that is to just uh, take all of the all of the ink and tur turn it into the the big shit, the snowfall. So ten of these can become one of this. So, so that is a trade, and I of and you also make scrolls. These are oh, the biggest profit margins, really. Strength, stamina, but they don't sell that well, so don't make don't make a billion, and uh, you know, but they are always the best profit margins. And then you make a. Uh, Vellums. Vellums are very good. Armor Vellum. Weapon Vellum. 
And a bit the same with the uh, enchanting. Enchanting is good. Uh, shuffle, you can shuffle with the jewel crafting and shit, but uh, uh, I would do the same uh, with the enchanting. Either buy up the shit or um, before, like after raids, people are ready and they will come back and they will buy materials. That's when you can reset prices or just sell. Then you know, I just uh, add a lot of I make uh, take all my ink into Vellums and I and I put it in my uh, in my guild bank, right? Make enchants, all all sorts of enchants. So you can do that. I guess we forgot what if we got the leather working. Same like it's the same like blacksmithing, right? And on, on all of these uh, tailoring, blacksmithing, leather working, you can always um, like you make the PvP gear. Uh, like I would do that if I only have leather working, because you sell uh, people come and they buy a full set, you're suddenly one thousand five hundred gold in profit. That's a lot of fucking gold. Uh, again, her leather working has has two sets uh, of uh, resistance gear, which is glorious. And though I don't know if it sells as well as uh, like tailoring and uh, blacksmithing, but uh, you have at least two to sell, and you have a lot of epics to sell. All of them are good sellers, to be honest. Uh, so leather workers is pretty good. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be skinning, but uh, Solheim was like, ah, don't go for... Nah, don't go for uh, skinning, but leatherworking skinning can be good money, because you also get cooking, and, you know, it's a lot of... Uh, cooking can be good as well. Like, the richest guy on previous uh, private server was uh, leatherworker skinning and cooking. <laughs> so, you know... It's debatable, I guess. Because, you know, you just want to go what everyone is not going. So everyone was, was going everything else. And he was like the only guy who went that. And yeah, he owned everyone. So we will see. Don't uh, count it out quite yet. So yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me what I forgot. I probably forgot everything, right? But uh, in the end, up to you. What you want. Everything is fine. Everything is good. You, and everything is easy. I mean, I got 2 million gold now in 2 months in Wrath. Like, you don't need a guide. <laughs> uh, you know, just enjoy. Alright, yeah, fuck you.